What's up everybody, D'Angelo here, and as you can see, we've got a little different scenery here now. I am now officially moved into my new house, and this is the first year, I mean the first, well, first year, first month, that I did not have to pay rent. This is such a good-ass feeling, guys. No, legit, no mortgage, no rent, no car payments, no nothing. It's absolutely beautiful, and this all came from marketing, guys. So you guys can do the exact same thing. But back to this video here. This is going to be my top three reasons why marketers will fail in 2019. All right. So the main one, well, I wouldn't say the main one, but you know, this not really isn't in any order. But the main one, in my opinion, is lack of research. Like this is the most mind blowing one that there is because this is so simple. Like. The best, the, one of the best skills we learned in school was learning how to research. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I used to have this teacher that, you know, whenever I didn't know how to spell a word, she would always tell me to look in the dictionary. And I used to hate that. I used to hate it. I'd be like, you have the answer. Why not just give me the answer? You can literally tell me how to spell the word, right? And then she'd be like, no, you have to look it up. You have to look it up. You have to look it up. And now I'm actually thankful for that because people who always get the answers from someone else, never learn the ability to actually go out and do research on their own. And that's why they fail. They sit there and wait and wait and wait and wait and wait and wait and wait. Let's say that, let's say you like buy one-on-one -on -one trainers or something like that. And that person ends up getting busy, you know, or you hire a mentor or whatever the case may be, or you buy a course or whatever, right? And you contact the support and you're just sitting there waiting for a response. You're waiting for something that you can literally do a Google search and find the answer for in 30 seconds. Do research like this is like such a huge killer for people because they legit just refuse to do research and i don't understand why i mean a lot of people look at this as like that like they still have that job mentality like oh well i'm doing this to help you out you know i'm buying your course to help you out i'm buying this to help you out you better they're getting help you know or whatever the case may be no you are the person receiving help the person who owns the course if you buy from the right person already makes money all right they don't need your money. They're doing this to help you out. You know what I'm saying? So research, guys. Always, always, always do research. You're improving yourself. You're improving your business every time you don't, if every time you do research. If you got a question about, you know, a CPA network, do research on it. You know, if you don't know what a term means for clickbait, do research on it. Do research. Google is your best friend as a marketer. Research, research research, research, research. And it is so crazy, again, that people cannot do research when it comes to making money online, but they can do research for stupid shit like watching videos. They can do research on what movie's coming out, uh, who so-and-so broke up with who, and you know how tall LeBron James is, and you know all of this useless information. Like If you're not getting paid for this, this is useless information. Do research. All right, so that's like you know one of the main ones right there. These are my main ones right here, right? Um, number two, no commitment. Like this one is mind blowing as well because people can literally go out and work forty to sixty hours, you know, a week plus. Like some people legit hitting like seventy hours a week, and they can't put in eight hours a week for themselves. They can't put in two hours a day for themselves. They can't do any of that like you cannot bring a single marketer that puts in eight hours a day and failed and it's impossible there are only so many ways to do something wrong right so every time you do something wrong in marketing you're learning all right it's not like how a job is where you would get scolded or something you're learning how to do like so let's say you go and uh, you run an offer on a CPA network, right? That offer didn't work. Then you run another one. That offer didn't work. Then you run another one. That offer didn't work. Then you run another one. That one didn't work, right? Then you go over to ClickBank. That one didn't work. You know, that one didn't work. You know, and then so on. And eventually you buy, oh, okay, this one works right here. This is my money bags right here. Boom. Run that offer and you get paid over and over and over. And then you do the same process over and over and over again. It's very simple, you know? Again, this is so mind blowing because people are like, oh, I want to make money. I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to get paid. I want to quit my job. I want to do. What, what are you doing to get to that point? A lot of people literally think they're just going to put up like a hundred dollars, do absolutely nothing, or they're going to pay a hundred dollars for a course, get some magical secret sauce from somewhere, you know, and just make thousands of dollars, right? Okay. 
this is the harsh reality, guys, right? Not everyone is going to win. It's just that simple, right? If you go and you're playing a video game, there isn't a million and one winners. There's normally just one winner, you know? Like, you know, winner is literally just yourself. You're the only person playing this video game, right? You have to decide whether or not to quit or to win or to keep going or whatever you want, you know, whatever you want to say. You have the power to literally just keep going and make this stuff work. You never meet someone who failed in marketing. It never happens. The only people who, you know, I wouldn't say fail, but, you know, they quit marketing. You never meet someone who fails. They always quit. Oh, I tried that online stuff. It didn't work. Oh, all that online stuff is a scam. You know, and stuff like that. You know, they're basically just saying stuff because they couldn't get it to work. They couldn't make any money with it. And that's because, again, a big one is going to be lack of research and, I mean, lack of research and no commitment. It's just that simple. If you aren't putting in, this is your business, guys. If you can go and work your ass off, hurt your feet, fuck your back up, you know, take medication, you know, miss your kids' birthday parties, miss holidays and all of that stuff for someone else and still be broke, how the hell can you not put in time every single day to work for yourself to become financially free? There you go, all right? And then another one is information overload, all right? So a lot of people are always doing too many things, right? They're just doing too many things. They're over here, they're doing click bank, right? Then they're doing CPA. Then they're doing trading. Then they're doing Forex or whatever. I don't know if that's the same thing, but you guys know what I'm saying, right? You're just doing too much shit. Focus on one thing. Focus on, if you're going to do CPA, break it down even more than that. Focus on one offer. Focus on one landing page. Focus on one traffic source. One, 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 one. Not 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Not run this offer, this offer, this offer, this offer, this offer, this offer, and so on and so on and so on, right? You're doing too much. Especially if you don't have a big budget, you really need to focus on just one offer. And guys, five dollars, ten dollars, that is not fucking testing. All right. Will you get there? You're doing the most right now. All right. All right. That is not the um that is not testing. Okay. I mean, a day, yeah, sure, why not? But if you just legit spend one five dollars or ten dollars or something like that and didn't get in conversion, that is not testing okay you don't you don't just cop just cut, completely cut off the offer because it didn't work you have to test again the landing page one of them all right and then if that one's not working at all depending on your offer payout and stuff like that um i recommend having at least 10 to 20 times offer payout you know for testing so if you're trying to run a trial offer or something depending on each network of course um so that's like if you're on facebook you know google stuff like that but if you're going to like um where what do we call them um like let's just call them advertising networks right uh where basically you're buying traffic from other people's websites and stuff like that and you don't really know where the website is coming from for stuff like that or especially dog traffic you're going to need probably like three grand to run a um a um what is it called um can't think of the name of it it's like run trial offers right because i mean you got to do a lot of testing when it comes to that so a lot of people literally think that these trial offers and stuff like that is going to be easy you can just go up in there with like a hundred dollars two hundred dollars something like that you know and, and get it to work and is it possible absolutely but at the same time if you are you know doing all of this stuff it's not going to work all right, so focus on just one, 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 one thing. All right, so again, because if let's say you got, you know, this right here, this is your your attention, your mind, or whatever you want to call it, right? And like this is just focus solely on CPA, right? You're at 100% right now. You're good, you know, you can just focus solely on CPA, but then you cut it in half, and you're like, oh, I'm going to try ClickBank too. Right. And this is before you even made any money with CPA. And a lot of people are doing this and that's why they aren't making any money. Then they're like, OK, I'm going to cut that in uh, halves again. Right. So now instead of, at, you know, 100 percent, now you're only at 25 percent for each one. And then they're doing Forex and they're doing, you know, this company. And then, you know, they're, they're like, oh, well, this new company just came out and I'm going to do this right here. And then I'm going to try this and then I'm going to try that. You know, and then now you start seeing like like you don't have anything going you just have like a whole bunch of stuff that you're doing but you're not making any money and that's because you haven't focused on one thing yet so 
Just focus on one thing, guys. Don't try and do a million and one things at one time. If you're a Team D'Angelo member, I know there's a lot of training and stuff in there, but do not go and do Amazon Associates, you know, today, then literally jump into Shopify training tomorrow, then jump into CPA the next day, then jump into, you know, direct sales the next day, and then this the next day, and then the app section the next day. Like, so focus on one thing. But that is pretty much it, guys. That is my top three reasons on why most marketers are going to fail in 2019. So now you have the option to not do this stuff right here. You can literally do research, you can commit, and you can focus on one thing and not do too many things, right? Oh, another big thing is playing the victim, all right? That, I should have said four, but I mean, it's whatever. Playing the victim, okay? Once you become a business owner, I don't care how old you are. As soon as you pay your membership, as soon as you you know join a company, as soon as you join a CPA network, as soon as you open up an account or whatever it is that you're doing, you are now officially a business owner and you can no longer bitch, right? You can no longer blame anyone else for your lack of success. It doesn't matter if you get scammed. It doesn't matter if you buy a bad course, in your opinion. It doesn't matter if whatever. Everything is your fault. You can no longer bitch. You can no longer complain. You can no longer do any of that. You gave all of those rights up as soon as you decide to become a business owner. Everything is your fault. Everything, everything, everything. When I say everything, everything. Like I always use the analogy, if you go across the street, if you're walking across the street, and it's a one way. All the cars, you know, are uh, going down the street. And then you go down there and you look the way that the cars are supposed to be coming. You walk out there and then bam, you get hit from a car going the wrong way. Offline, that's the car's fault. Online, that's your fault. Okay? Everything is your fault. You have to take responsibility. When you play the victim, you have no control over anything. Right? Everything just happens to you and you just react. Right? When you take control, you go, like, okay, I can control this. Like a lot of people don't believe that it's their fault that they're broke. You know? It's to your fucking fault. If you're choosing, if you are doing things that lead you to being broke, it is your fucking fault. It's just that simple. Take control. When you take control, you can change things. If you know why you're broke, you can change why you're broke. Like for me personally, I used to be the same way. Oh, I can do it because of this, or the, this course didn't work for me, or it's like, it's like some courses you're just not ready for. Right? If you go and you buy a three thousand dollar course and you're a completely brand new person. Odds are you're not going to see value in that because you're not at that level. It's just that simple. You need to level up before you get there, you know. But again, that is pretty much it, guys. Don't forget to do lots of research. Start committing to your business and don't do too many one things and give up the victim card. But that's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. And don't forget to like and subscribe.